just so happen to stumble along this channel and you're not quite sure how you got here, we would love for you to be a part of our family. And you would do that simply by hitting that red subscribe button over there. Now, if you're an existing family member, hey girl, hey, hey boo, hey, okay. We are doing a Sephora haul. So these are all the items that we picked up near the end of last year and you know, I feel it's not right for me to try any of our stuff until we review it together. Although there is one item that I couldn't wait, but that's not the point. So let's just get into the video. The first thing that I'm going to show, of course, is by the company Peter Thomas Roth. You guys know I'm obsessed. And as you can see, it's outside of its box because when I picked this up, I needed it fast, quick, and in a hurry. So this is their Max Complexion Correction Pads. I believe we've talked about these before. I believe this was the first product I've ever tried by Peter Thomas Roth. I use it for two main issues, reasons, courses. <laughs> First things first, I have oily skin. Sometimes, you know, there's texture or I can feel texture trying to, you know, appear, wreak havoc, settle in on my skin. So I use this as a prevention step. And also, this is, this is not what it's advertised for, but let's say, you know, I get a wax or maybe I shave, I hardly ever shave, but let's say I do that. Or even from time to time, if I use my epilator, what I do is whatever area, you know, I'm you, I, I use those techniques for, I will go over with one of these pads um, to make sure, you know, we can, uh, I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why I'm like stuttering so I can avoid ingrown hair. This is really good good for that. Um, who recommended this to me? It was the Skin Spa of New York. So I've been like, they've had my business for years now. I don't think I'm exaggerating. I want to say for like about a decade. And one of um, the females who was doing a service for me, she recommended that I try these and these absolutely do work. Next. Well, since we're talking about Peter Thomas Roth, we might as well go to the next one. Now, this is not a prevention um, item. This is when, you know, I feel um, like acne coming. When I say acne, I mean, because acne is really like a cluster of pimples, right? Is it? I don't know. So when I feel a pimple coming through, I will use these acne clear invisible dots. These are so amazing. Or if it's already there, maybe I wasn't able to, you know, beat it. Um, I would use this. Now, now this I didn't purchase. I've had this one. They also have an acne spot treatment. Um, actually, it's called acne spot and area treatment. I would use either or, not both at the same time because they're both just as effective. Um, so whatever I have on hand, I really went to Sephora to pick up one of these, but I didn't see any, so I just picked up the dots. So, next. Love this stuff. <laughs> so this is the Soul, G uh, Soul Gennaro. I thought it was Soul De Gennaro. Wait, what's their name? Well, I guess Soul Genera Biggie Biggie Bum Bum Cream. Okay, big. it says Biggie Biggie because this is like a huge size. Uh, this is 16.9 fluid ounces. Now, let me tell you guys the reason why I invest in this product. Because of how expensive it is? Yeah, we're gonna use the word invest. <laughs> um, it's not because this product is super duper moisturizing because unfortunately for my skin, it's not. It's not that moisturizing at all. So 
I feel like the lower you get on my body, <laughs> the more moisture my skin needs. So I like for my legs, especially in the winter time, like this alone just does not do it for me. So why would I spend so much on this product? Have you smelled this product? <laughs> Have you smelled this product? This product smells so darn good. So let me open it up so you guys can see the packaging. This is a special size. So usually it's a smaller um, container, but this is a special size. I think they were doing like a limited edition type of situation. Um, I thought there was, oh, and then they have this, what is this, a spatula? I don't know. They have this, I don't know what this is. <laughs> they don't usually have this in their boxes, but I think it's because this is a special situation. They threw this thing in. I don't know what this is. I don't know if you use this to scoop out, maybe. Maybe you use this to scoop out the lotion, I don't know. All right, let's open her. I don't know how to describe the scent, but it's so good. It's so good. And let me tell you something. So you guys know I'm finicky with fragrances. This, this right here, I always get so many compliments when I put this baby on. Always, always. Like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. Um, where did you get it from? And get a lot of attention from guys too. Like, oh, you smell really nice. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> love this stuff, love this stuff. So yeah, I spent $8 million on this. I exaggerate. <laughs> just because of the fra fragrance. It's like a nice exotic, exotic, not overpowering type of fragrance. And you may say, okay, so the scent must not last all day. This fragrance does last all day. And I have found that like, well, I feel like your body heat is like what keeps the fragrance going on. I know it sounds weird, but Love this stuff. Next. Well, since we're talking about Sol Janeiro products, um, also purchased the mini one. Obviously, I didn't purchase these on the same day. I don't know why I purchased the mini one of these. Um, this may be a giveaway, but I also purchased the Coco Cabana Cream. Love the fragrance of this as well. This smells like what does this smell like, smell like to me? This smells like coconut, sometimes popcorn. No, that sounds weird. <laughs> Love this. I usually use this specifically for my feet. I don't know why, but I love that my feet smell like coconut. <laughs> or sometimes popcorn. I know it sounds weird, but that's why I purchased this. Now that I'm thinking about it, I could have just not bought two of these and one big one of these. I don't know what I was thinking. Next, since we're still talking about moisturizers and whatnot, had to pick up the First A Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Love this stuff. Okay, so I love everything that I purchased, obviously. But the reason why I love this stuff is because this is the perfect product for my hands. It is so difficult finding a product that not only moisturizes your hands, doesn't feel like it's just sitting on top, and doesn't make your hands look overly greasy. So difficult. And this product right here, definitely does the job. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a few tidbits of advice when purchasing this product. First things first, try to get this, if you, if you decide to pick this up at Sephora, try to get this during like one of their sales and try to, you know, scoop up as much as you can. This I was able to purchase in December, um, there was some type of sale going on, whereas this eight ounce container was only $15. So I purchased four. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I have one at the office. I have three here, but let's say there isn't a sale going on and you want to pick up one of these, but you don't necessarily want to pay full price. You can try um, going to your local Marshalls. A lot of times, a lot of times, they'll have like probably like a few of these, you know, for a discounted price. Actually, I just was at the Marshalls around my area two days ago and they had the eight, I think it was eight ounces, I'm not sure, but it wasn't in this container, it was in a jar for $20 really good price because this is a pricey baby here next yes we picked up a glow recipe product are we surprised though so what we picked up was the watermelon glow ultra fine mist listen i've been eyeing this for the longest time but didn't want to pay for it for the longest time <laughs> So I decided to get the mini one. You know when you're on that Sephora line, before you get to the cashier, they have all these mini things. And I'm like, okay, fine. I'll finally do this. So I'm very excited that I finally picked one up. Don't remember how much this cost. This probably was like around $20 or something like that. I will definitely do a review for you guys because as you know, we like a lot of Glow Recipes products. So. We had to pick up a beauty blender. <laughs> we just had to. So I decided we should get the kit. So the kit has a beauty blender and it has a cleansing situation for the beauty blender. And since we're discussing beauty blenders, I also picked up a beauty blender holder because it was bothering me. I'm like, there has to be a more sanitary way to store my sponges in the beauty room. So we picked up a case for it. Let's open it up so I can really show you guys how it look and whatnot. So this is it, I thought it was going to be like a hard plastic, but it's not. It's a bendy like silicone situation. Oop! Every video! <laughs> Every video! This is it. Okay, love it. I will definitely get use from this baby. Next. Tinted Moisturizer by Smashbox. Now, I do not own any of Smashbox um, foundations, tinted moisturizers, BB creams, anything like this. So this is a new one for us over here. I was looking for um, NARS Tinted Moisturizer, but they didn't have the one that I was looking for. And this is what was recommended to us. And the color is deep. Let's see, can we, let's see if I can give you guys a little swatcheroo. That's, that's how she's swatching. So we'll see how that works. And it's a moisturizer, so even if it's a bit off, um, we should still be able to make it work. Next, what else did we pick up? Oh, um, I got a reward. So I always wanted to try Briogeo um, hair products. So I did select this as a reward. It's their, I believe this is both their shampoo and conditioner. Yes, it absolutely is. But it's like a mini size. So let me show you guys. So this is definitely one wash for me. <laughs> Look how cute these are. This is definitely one wash. I hope this is enough conditioner. <laughs> We're gonna pray. <laughs> I'll definitely tell you guys how these work out next. Since we're talking about hair products, we might as well just jump into two beauties that we picked up, which is by the company Olapelex. I've been wanting to try their products for quite some time now, so this is finally the time. What did I pick up? I picked up a number three and a number zero. I don't remember though what number three and number zero is supposed to do. Okay, so number three is called a hair 
perfecter, repairs and strengthens. Okay, so I think, okay, I think I remember. I think I was um, looking for something to replace the protein treatments or add to the protein treatments that I use. And um, I think my research stated Olaplex number three was the way to go. And then number zero, what is this? Intensive bond building hair treatment. What's the difference? This sounds like it's a, oh. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> this sounds like this would be like a protein. I don't know. So these are the things that I got. I'll do more research obviously before putting this in my hair and I'll definitely do a review for you guys because I know you guys are disappointed that you didn't get hair videos or I think we probably did one hair video, but listen, I listen, okay? So you will get some hair videos <laughs> next. Ah, that's right, I totally forgot. So one of the associates at Sephora was telling me, girl, sweetie, you need to pick this up because it's at an amazing price because they're changing their packaging. And what I'm talking about is Beauty Blenders Foundation. So I just said, okay, just so you guys can know, I feel as if the older I get, the less patience I have when shopping. <laughs> I still love shopping, but there are some things where I'm like, like with foundations, at this point, I'm like, just pick something out for me. Like, I don't want to swatch everything. I'm just too tired. I'm too annoyed. I'm like, just, just tell me what my color is. Okay, I'm trusting you. <laughs> okay, I think the color is called Blend 4.40N. That's the name of the color, I believe. And this is how that looks. We'll definitely do a video when we use this foundation. Next. So we might as well go over the last <laughs> moisturizer. So as you guys can see, I love moisturizers. <laughs> I do. For the face, for the body, it doesn't matter. Um, this is one of my favorites. I purposely got the mini one. What would you call this mini? Um, no, uh, well, the smaller. I, I purposely got the smaller size because it's so funny. Before, like years ago, I would have so much difficulties finding a moisturizer that I like for my oily skin. Now, I have like tons. <laughs> I have tons. It's funny, once you figure out what your face wants and needs, it's just, it's like skincare just becomes so much easier. But this is Beliefs. Please tell me I got the right one. Okay, Aqua Bomb. I said, please tell me I got the right one because sometimes I um, mistake the Aqua Bomb for their cream one, but the Aqua Bomb is the one that I love most. Love this. So hydrating. It's like your skin just drink it up. <laughs> love this stuff. Okay, so that's the last moisturizer. Now I think we're going into shadow territory. Don't worry, it's like two. <laughs> Next. We picked up this baby right here. Can you see her? And this is Pat McGrath's Lab. Is this Mothership? Mothership Mega. I think that's what it says. I could have been making that whole thing up. Um, the reason why we picked this up is because we do not own anything by Pat McGrath. And, you know, I just wanted to pick up something even though I wasn't supposed to buy any shadows, so. <laughs> so this is her. Let's, oh, I, I forgot what the color story is about this, so let's open it up. And, oh, it doesn't open all the way. Oh, that's a cute little, can you see? I hope you can see. All right, so that's the color story. Let's swatch a few colors, oh, okay. I understand why I picked this up. <laughs> oh gosh, Ugh. if this was a live, I could ask you guys what color to swatch, I don't know. Ooh, we need to start doing lives this year. Um, uh, 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 let's, let's swatch the matte colors. And I think there's literally only three matte colors in this whole palette. 
So let's do this one, which is a purple babe. Ooh, oh, she cute. I hope you guys can see. So these are the three matte colors that are in the palette. They're all beautiful. Now this pink one, which is the one right here, little difficult to see, but I can see myself having fun with that. <laughs> all right, now this is the mini Tropic palette by Natasha Denona. Love her palettes and love her lip glosses. And guys, I just had to. I just had to, how cute is this? Okay, so let's swatch the, oh gosh. Okay, should we swatch all of them? <laughs> I love every single color in here. Uh, this blue, this glittery blue, like y'all need to see this. Okay, so I swatched three of the colors. How beautiful is that? <laughs> How beautiful. All right, yes, we will definitely do some looks with this palette next. Oh, okay, I, I totally forgot. I also redeemed another reward, which is for this Clinique um, brown, what color is this? It's like a brownish lipstick. Oh gosh, that is so tiny. Okay, I <laughs> the print is so tiny. I don't know if you can read that, but I can't. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you guys something. This color is beautiful, whatever the color is, and I've never paid for a full size of this because they always have this color for like 100 points at Sephora. So I've never purchased a full size because I've never had to. And this is the color. It's like a nice sheer brown color. Here, let me swatch it. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna see it. Maybe difficult to see, but that's the color there. It's a beautiful, the color is right there. It's a beautiful share brown color. I saw it, 100 points. I said, sure, why not? I don't think I'll ever <laughs> have to pay for a full size unless, you know, Sephora stops giving this as a reward item. Next. And last but not least, I picked up two Urban Decay lipsticks and both of them are my favorites. So my number one favorite is, hold on, what's her name? You guys have seen me wear this quite a few times. Firebird, my number one favorite is Firebird. So let me open her up for you guys. So this is Firebird. Oh, she is my favorite. She's the my favorite lip color that I have. And let me swatch her for you. Oh, Ooh. yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So that is Firebird. That's my favorite lip color. Actually, I've noticed, I was looking at all of my lipsticks. I don't have that many lipsticks, at least not that many if you compare it to my glosses. And I'm like, oh, so I just repurchased the same colors over and over again, <laughs> just by different brands. All right, and then the last but not least is, what's her name? Is it Venom? I think it's Venom, hold on. Yes, Venom. Love this color. Venom. Venom. She just hits a different type of way. Let me show you. So this is her. A little bit on the opposite end. She's not so bubbly. She's not too, you know, perky and going. She's more seductive. She's more... I don't know. <laughs> she's just, she just hits a little different. Let me swatch her. And Venom is that one. Now some may say they're looking at the same colors. And I would say, you're wrong. <laughs> 
love venom love venom these two colors these are like these are my colors like i said so firebird firebird is like sherry like 90 percent of the time sherry that's this color over here and venom 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 is like my alter ego <laughs> which is this color over here and that is everything thank you guys for joining me with this little haul i am too excited because that means now i can use my stuff <laughs> now i can finally use my stuff i was trying not to touch anything because i wanted to make sure that i shared this video with the family now if you're a newcomer and you did not press that subscribe button we understand <laughs> we understand that just means you probably need to look at a few more pieces of content which is okay because we'll place a few more pieces here and if you think those pieces of content is just as good or better then you are obligated to slam that subscribe button till the next video bye guys